back in ETV. What's up, guys? Dave Brinkman here with you and Balcony TV Los Angeles. We are downtown at Club Nuke here. There is a loud as hell truck that just pulled up behind us as I'm saying that. But it doesn't matter because I'm here with New Politics. How are you, boys? Good, good, good. Thank you. How are you? Great, man. And uh, yeah, you guys have just adoring fans, all just down, just down by this deck right there. They're just sort of yelling out every now and again. But uh, guys, what song are you be playing for us? We are going to be playing um, our single Girl Crush. Excellent. Take it away. Never, definitely never had break dancing at Balcony TV before, right? <laughs> Cindy, anyone, producers? That is a first, man. Thank you very much. Thank that was you. amazing. Thank you for having us. No worries. I'm just going to pull up a chair. I hope that's cool. <laughs> I'm one of the cool kids, right? Yeah? <laughs> right. Guys, so you're on tour with Andrew McMahon right now. How does that feel? Has, uh, you know, Jack's Mannequin, something corporate, were, they, were those bands ever a, uh, an influence to you guys growing up? Um, yeah, they influenced def definitely to me. These guys are actually from Copenhagen, yeah. Denmark yep. originally. Yep. But, um, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we barely know anything. Go, yeah. don't know anything. I'm from Australia. I know nothing as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, totally. Andrew is, I, I grew up listening to a lot of his stuff, so. And uh, how's the, uh, so you're in, what, day 
It's been a couple of days you've been. Day you kicked four, the, actually. Yeah, right. kicked off the tour, tour on the 12th. Yeah, How's it been so far, the start of it? It's been it's been awesome. We we definitely, you know, every time you go on tour, you're always nervous to see how many people show up yep. and I, and all those things. But we have we have been doing a lot of fly dates, festivals and sure. college shows and stuff the last year. So we're super excited to just be out on the road again. And their whole crew is awesome. Everybody from all the different camps are great and stuff. Yep. So we so so we, we're having a really good time, which is which is half of it you know that gives you energy and good vibes on stage too Dude. and stuff so. oh, i bet man you've got i mean you've got some other killer supporters as well uh, on the tour but so tell me you guys i mean congratulations on the album that just dropped last month or oh, sorry Thank august you. already <laughs> it's gone so quick um what i'm really interested in is you guys jumped over from your old label over to dc d2 records with pete wentz how has that all been how is it being under the under the wing of pete wentz it's cool he's really really cool he's always we've always had a really good um thing with him before you know when we first moved here five years ago from Copenhagen yeah uh, we, we've met him and known him through this this period of us being here and you know when we had the opportunity he's he's just always been someone that really liked what we did yep. like understood our creative he like, seems like the type of guy that if he likes it he'll just get totally. behind it 100 percent. that's how he is awesome. and he's very like if he believes in it he just kind of like wants you to do you and yeah. just like you know go with it like he which I think is so so awesome. And how I mean, how has it been releasing a uh, an album through his label as opposed to a major that you guys have been on in previous albums? We actually we we do it we do it with Warner. Oh nice. So okay. yeah, so yeah, it's I a mean, conjunction it's, with it's, them. It's awesome. It's 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 still so, in the beginning stages. Yeah, it yeah. is. Definitely. So I mean, we're, we're this is literally our first sort of you know project that we do with DCD two and. Yeah. What what I like about DCD too is that it's a it's kind of a family label. So yeah. the other the other artists on that yeah, label, very. they all we all support each other and you know try to do things together. And that sure. I I love that idea that even though s some of the other artists are a different genres, a yeah. different genre than we are, it's it's cool that you can you know collaborate and it's like and every, it's like everyone's pulling each other yeah, up the ranks. Awesome. Right? Like he's doing some great work with like Max Schneider and all that I've seen yeah. as well, yeah. which is really cool. That's awesome and. Um, so tell me, the uh, you know the new album's out, everything's going awesome. Where uh, and like with this songs, right? It's like that song you guys has played. You have just like, I mean, I was, just, I was I've always like always been a fan of you guys. I was listening to all the songs again today, and it's like they're just like sing along anthems. And I want to <laughs> know, all right? I want to know the recipe for a new politics hit. What happens? The recipe. I want I five I ingredients. Think, all, right? all right. I think. I think definitely garlic, one of the garlic, pepper, salt, yeah, and a, a little bit of, bit of mustard butter. and the mustard. All right. The mustard. Right. Uh, I. I think one of the main <laughs> ingredients is that we have fun. Yeah, it because, sounds like it. You know, every time we have fun and we and we dare we, we do random stuff and yeah. we think it's weird and and people that hear it afterwards thinks it's catchy. It, it's and just like that's the thing. It's just like it's infectious. It's like each song is so different, but you automatically know it's new politics. You know, <laughs> it's like awesome. you've got this like, you know, this such a sing along vibe. Like you know, you just can't help but bob your head along to it. And there's but there's. You know, it's not a bubblegum pop song either. It's it's like there's so many layers to it as well. What uh, so said so you guys? It's like gritty. It's like gritty lullabies. It is. That's that's perfect. That's perfect. Like so do that. you guys like? Do you tend to like try not to think about it too hard, or do, you, do they each song take weeks? So how do they come about normally? We think too much, but I mean, we don't really. At the same time, we don't. Yeah. You know, there's there's no real formula to yeah. art. I mean, we are who we are, and like we do things. You know, like we just kind of go with it and throw ourselves out and. Yeah. You know, we just have a sense for like lullabies and we like rock music and yeah. punk and... Do you find the best songs come together the quickest, like the easiest? Yes, I think Often, so. yes. I, yeah. I, th Definitely. I don't necessarily think it's that's the reason, Yeah. but I think it's because once you start thinking, yeah. you're automatically doing something that others has done before. So yeah. if you if you just do it on the go, leave the idea, come back to it later with fresh ears, uh -huh. it usually is, that's where you want to pick up. All if right. you try totally. too hard to make it something specific, it's already done and, and it's it doesn't count. It's you know, okay. mu music and art in general. I think it's it has to be honest, and mm -hmm. when when it's honest, then people can relate to it. And sure. that that's I think seems to be the recipe for for us that we don't overthink things. We Just do, do a ton of demos, and then we pick the best ones and we finish them. Perfect. All right, guys, you hear that? That is a recipe to a new politics hit. Write it down. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Music has a life of its own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and guys, all right. So I already saw what I want to what I want to do right now. Right, you two are the front man. You can't you can't do too much. I'm talking about stage moves here. Right, you're stuck behind a drum kit, so I'm focusing this on you two. I you want see you. Him. He swings like sticks around. You guys have been on so many tours, played so many shows. I want you to impersonate him. 
on st what his stage moves are, and I want you to impersonate his stage moves. <laughs> Ooh, you better get good at hair baby. Yeah, you better get good at break dancing. You can stay seated or whatever you want to do. He's, he can do some mean yeah, stuff. What, is this, what does this guy always do? Drinks. Every like uh, every show, he's got his move. I know he does, and I want you to tell me Ooh, what it, it would is. Be, it would be a backflip off of a kick drum. <laughs> Right there, that's the kick drum. <laughs> every if you want a show tonight, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> every you do it, you try and do it back with every show. <laughs> it's random stuff that happens. Yeah, we just yeah, yeah we just have certain things that we've been doing that always work, and then yeah. we add things, and sometimes there'll be something spontaneous that is like, oh, that was cool. Let's do it. Let's yeah. let's explore that. Nice I, man. I love that since he's you know such a good dancer, and when and when we when we I'm met, a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> when when we met, it was a um, you know I was really surprised, but I still see things that are new when like does. why have you done that before yeah. you know that are like new things all so. right so you're off the hook you don't have to break dance what yes. about what does this guy always do what's his like what's his go-to like Cern's like Cern goes on stage and he needs something to happen okay so it's like he goes on stage and he's straight away like if something doesn't happen this is this is gonna go to fall to pieces okay. so he's hype he's like he goes on stage and he's just like <laughs> Kicking the guitar, throwing it in the air, <laughs> catching it, and he's like, die, die. <laughs> Back in the TV. <laughs>